many of the policies we've seen uh, from this government uh, have put all sorts of barriers in front of the extractive sector in general, uh, which obviously greatly impacts the, uh, the petroleum manufacturing uh, sector that's important in my riding, uh, as well as, of course, the use of, of energy in other contexts. Uh, look, there, there are all kinds of innovations happening in our energy sector, and I think the member knows that. Um, it, it is our view on this side of the House uh, that we should have responsible policies that incentivize the development of new technology in the context of that sector, which is why in the last election we proposed a 5% reduced to 5% business tax rate for, for those directly earning revenue off a green patent. That green patent incentive would have, would have encouraged further development. Development is already happening, but further, more rapid development in terms of technological improvements. I think that's the path forward. It's to encourage development and innovation at the same time. Policies like the carbon tax advanced by this government, unfortunately, will push investment out of the country to less environmentally friendly jurisdictions. They won't help us as a global community in our response to our environmental challenges. They will just hurt Canada's economy. Uh, we can incentivize the development of green technology while encouraging development. That would be the policy we would recommend on this side of the House.